Whoever first came up with the idea of cooking food over a fire must have been the hero of the clan back in the Stone Age. And while it's true that the basic concept hasn't changed much, the recipes certainly have. Chef Bani Pariachi has elevated the barbecue from weekend fare to haute cuisine, and she's ready to show us how it's done. We South Africans are famous for our brais. My first dish to complement our Indian brai is a Ramali roti. To start off first, we're going to add the yeast to the warm water. And we're just going to give that a quick stir. Our flour goes into our bowl. And you just want to hold a little bit of the flour just for dusting and rolling. Give that a quick sieve with your fingers, some sugar. And this is the food for the yeast. A good pinch of salt, flavour for the dough. And I'm going to add the yeast water a little by little to form a good, soft, workable dough. And this dough is ready to be kneaded onto a floured surface. And then all I'm going to do is knead the dough just till it's beautiful and a smooth ball. And if you feel you need to add a little bit more flour to your dough, please do. And once again, dust your palm with some flour. And all we're doing is we're going to portion into little balls and roll into a beautiful tight ball. And once this is ready, we're going to let it proof for about 20 minutes. And then I'm going to hand this to Chef Raj because he has a flair of making Romali roti. My next dish, I'm making lamb sea kebab. The first ingredient is our lamb mince, and then a good pinch of garam masala, a little smidge of mustard oil, one egg, some ginger garlic puree, some red onion, a blob of paneer. We're just gonna break that up. I'm gonna add some deggy mitch, a little bit of salt, a good handful of coriander, mint, and a chili. And all I'm going to do is just chop this up and you want to get this as fine enough that it binds together. I'm gonna add that all in. And all I'm going to do is just work that lambsy kebab in. So first I'm gonna dip my hands in some water just to get it nice and wet so it doesn't stick to my hand when I'm making the kebab. Just to start off with a ball, and all I'm going to do is just work this and just a little bit more water. And that's ready. I'm going to set that down. And I'll make the next kebab. And you want to hold this on quite firmly onto your tandoor stick, or else it will start falling once you cook. Okay, that's ready. To make the alu katlanji, I have some potatoes that's been hollowed out and parboiled. So to start making our filling, we use the inside of our potatoes that I've grated, some chili, cashew nuts, raisins, cumin powder, chili powder, some turmeric, fresh chopped coriander, and some paneer. So I'm just gonna squish that in and I'm gonna mix that really well. And now this filling is ready to be filled into the aloo. When you eat this, you're gonna taste that beautiful, nutty, sweet flavors of the raisins coming through. So now we're gonna get our red marinade. And all we're going to do is just coat this and you want to coat it really well because this also makes it really yummy. Now, no braai is completed without a baked potato placed onto the coal. And then I'm going to put a potato to hold onto this. For my final dish, I'm making achari paneer, which is made up of hung yogurt and my secret ingredient, which is homemade lemon and lime acha. So let's start the marinade. So hung yogurt in a little bit of mustard oil, some chaat masala, white pepper, 
green cardamom powder, some fenugreek seeds, black onion seeds, chopped chilies, ginger garlic puree, and my favorite ingredient, my lemon and lime acha. Add a little bit of Kashmiri spice, salt, and mix all that really, really well. And now we're ready to put our paneer in. And I'm gonna use my fingers for this now. It's the only way to get that well coated with the marinade. And this is perfectly marinated. And I'm going to skewer this. So I'm gonna take this to the tandoor oven and it'll cook between five and eight minutes. And to complete our Indian barbecue, I've made a kachumba salad, an Indian salad, and an array of accompaniments. Do not feel intimidated if you do not have a tandoor oven. You could always cook all of these dishes on the coals.